Search well, try to. There might be something for the blooper reel after all this is done. Because um, I did it wrong. I mixed together two problems. And there was an integral that came out that was just horrible, right? And then I stopped. So I get dy dt is equal or minus 2i over t is equal to, um, let me see, the number 2t squared. Then I have the initial condition y of negative 2 is equal to 4. Right, so, um, I get p of t is equal to, okay, this is in standard form, it's first order, right? If the first order derivative is raised to the first power, the y is raised to the first power. Um, there's some variable coefficient structure on the, on the y term, which all this tells me use integrating factors, and integrating factors is something I just did, so I have this work written up from before. p of t is going to then be negative 2 over t, because this is written in standard form, and g of t it's not going to be an exponential function as it was before. It's 2 times t squared. So for step 1, right, I compute my mu. Mu of t is equal to e to the integral of p of t, which is negative 2 over t dt. I have this as e to the negative 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of t, which is e to the natural log of the absolute value of t to the negative 2, which is absolute value of t to the negative 2, which is 1 over the absolute value of t squared. The absolute value sign returns a negative if t is less than 0, and a positive if, it's non, if t is a non-negative number. And that doesn't matter because it's squared, so whatever comes out of that is just going to get destroyed by the squared. So this is as good as t squared. Now for step two, I have that the derivative of mu times y is equal to mu um, times g. So I have that mu, 1 over t squared, times y, which is my unknown function I'm hoping to find, is equal to the integral of mu of t, 1 over t squared, times g of t, which is 2 times t squared. Integrate that on t. So this is 2 times the integral with respect to t. This is 2 times t plus c. So that means that y of t is equal to um, 2t cubed plus ct squared. Step 3, then, is to apply the initial condition. I have that y of negative 2 is equal to 4. So this is 2 times negative 2 cubed plus c times negative 2 squared, which is equal to... Um, negative 8 times 2, which is negative 16, plus 4 times c, right, and so that's going to be 4 times c is equal to um, 20, so c is equal to 20 fourths, or, let's see, 5. So y of t is equal to um, 2t cubed plus 5t squared. That's a heck of a way to talk about a cubic polynomial.
you problem number 